It's now time to see what's clicking in Cleveland. For that, we bring in our digital anchor, Stephanie Haney. Stephanie, hello. Hello, Mike. Happy Friday to you. Lots of important conversations happening today around Cleveland, including with the leadership of the Cavaliers. They were talking about social justice and positive change with the City Club of Cleveland. Cavs head coach J.B. Bickerstaff talked about how meaningful it was to see Black Lives Matter messaging on the courts when the NBA came back last night, especially in a league where 85% of the players are black. Cavs general manager Kobe Altman brought up the unique opportunity players have to open up dialogue about racial justice issues and use their stage to spread important messages, bringing up Colin Kaepernick and his kneeling protest. And here's a big one. Kevin Clayton, VP of Diversity, Inclusion and Community Engagement, said they're trying to get Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse approved as a polling location. Lots of open space in there that's important to think about when it comes to COVID-19 and voting. Now, things just got a little bit easier to get into the Cleveland Metro Park Zoo. As of tomorrow, August 1st, you no longer need a reservation to get in with general admission. The zoo said they're doing fine with staying below 75% capacity, so no appointment needed, but you do need a reservation for the Asian Lantern Festival. That's there through August 31st. And you all have been sending us such great photos through the Near Me feature on the WKYC app. We've got some to get you started off relaxation here on your Friday for your weekend. How about some sunsets? Look at this beautiful sunset over Port Clinton. You see the pink skies reflecting on the water there. That's from Scott Little. And here's a sunset over Lake Erie shared by Terry Markle. Now we've got something for the early risers too. Look at this fiery sunrise in Avon shared by Steve Sefchik. And another gorgeous start to the day there with pink and purple skies by Bert Ambrose. Now, I have to tell you, I particularly appreciate these sunrise photos because I'm not a morning person. I do not get early enough to see sunrise. Mike, what about you? Are you getting up early to catch sunrise? No, I usually, sometimes I catch them from the other side, though. Um, but keep those pictures coming. They are beautiful. Thank you, Stephanie. Appreciate it.